Welcome, 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 welcome. I had, uh, I had already, I hit stop because I was avoiding something. In case my daughter comes in, I'll, I'll be like, um, I'm still doing my video. Alright? Our energy is no joke right now. So yeah, I'm using you. I'm using my little gummy bears right now. Hope nobody else is using you because I'm the only one allowed to do that because I'm not using you in a negative way. I really just want to come on and talk to you. And chat. How's your week going? Good? Great? Alrighty then. So, this is going to be my ride. For my gun bears. Okay. So there's that. Let's get to your Venus first, my little my little gummy bears. My little gummy bears. Cheers. Cheers. Starbucks at eat something at night. Starbucks. At 8.15 at night. So, so there's that. I didn't even... My kids need to get ready for bed. I got 16 messages right now, for real. Alright. And my other one texted me, too. You know what I just got? I'll never forgive you. years old. I'm sorry you don't like authority. Sorry. Sorry. Suck it up, buttercup. Any hoozy. Where's that? Gummy bears, gummy bears. Give me some gummy, 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 some sweet news. My little gummy bears. Gemini Venus. Gemini Venus. Let go of control issues, okay? Codependency, a reconciliation. But if you want all that, this could be the one, okay? Trust, calling in your soulmate, freeing yourself, freeing your energy, okay? It, to me, it's like if you want this reconciliation, it's time to take control back of your life, okay? Um, you definitely don't feel like it's safe to love. Um, you're definitely having control issues. You're not trusting something, okay, you definitely got an addiction, or you're very codependent, there, there's somebody, um, you gotta let, you gotta let this codependency go, I don't know what it is, if you want this reconciliation with somebody, you gotta free yourself from this negative energy, okay, you know this can be the one, but you're like afraid to love, so you're afraid to let go of all this other stuff, you're afraid to uh, trust, you're, you're afraid to address something, um, I, I definitely fear, feel the feel of, um, rejection, you're worried, okay, I, I don't know what this codependency, codependency thing is, or letting go of control issues, I mean, I, they're, they're stressing enough, it is time to take control over your damn life, can you budge your sister in, please, um, this is definitely, you definitely feel like this is the one, so you got a lot of love for somebody, okay, but you don't feel safe, you, you feel like you can't even trust this person right now, so this is, sorry, because I was finishing my last one. It's my last one. Um, I'll be done in a little while. Uh, it's like 20 minutes. I'm not changing my mind. You're not having the car to go this weekend. I'm not doing this right now, okay? I'm just not. Give me t give me 20 minutes. Hi. So. She's got some gummy. She's got some gummy being in it. So here's here's the thing, let it go. Let it go. New moon energy for my gummy bears, please. Whatever this is, I'm telling you, let it go. If you want this reconciliation, you you want this back in your life. You, there's some sacrifices that need to be made here. I'm not kidding. It's on my board. 
you know, hey, yeah, here you go. You want that ten of cups? You can have it. But in order to have it, you gotta release. Hi, sweetie. Um, so it, it it is beautiful energy, but that's if you if it gets addressed. Was like five there. If it gets addressed the right way, okay. Um, let me put this ten of cups real quick. Wow, got a lot to say, but I'm not having that many pop out. Ten of cups, please. Ten of cups. Wow. What flips? The eight of pence and the ace of pence. Okay, this this talks about nurturing you with this eight of pence, nurturing you to have this new stat. This is the nine too. Okay. This also talks about building up your confidence to have this new stat. This also talks about seeking contentment, fulfillment within within yourself, with a relationship, within something like that. What's up? You know the fires or whatever? Yeah. It could hit a table. There's already 40, 50 houses on fire in Lawrence and in um, Lawrence and North Andover and Andover. I know, it's horrible. Like, they're still it's, going. I know. And there's a fire near okay. my school. Look at my school. In the woods. In the, okay, that, the, that's not related. Fire. I know, but it's okay. still. All right, I'm doing, I'm doing a video. I know it's horrible because the, the gas lines are are connected to all those cities. They could hit dad if it weren't that far. If they don't get it, it could hit him. Have you talked to dad? I just talked to him. Did he shut his gas him. off? No. Okay. Let me finish this, okay? I didn't talk. I love you. Some pretty horrible fire is going on. Why don't you shut on. the gas off? <laughs> Lucy! <laughs> shut the gas off. You want to yeah, they're supposed to shut. If they're all lit, they need to shut the, the gas well, off if they have house. I don't think he has propane anyway, so let me finish this video, okay? There's some pretty horrible fires going on in uh, Ian's over Lawrence with the wind. It's a, a gas line. I don't even want to talk about it. But um, let's just talk about nurturing yourself, nurturing you, taking care of you, having that confidence to free yourself from whatever this is. You have to let go of this codependency. You have to release. You have to trust. It's safe, okay? This this takes faith, all right. The world. This is wrapping it up. Wrap it up. Let it go. Okay. Accept. Express. Free yourself from this energy. Okay. The magician. You're more than capable. You've learned a lot of lessons. Here's the deal. You got the high priestess reverse next to the magician. You're not using your intuition. Secrets need to be exposed. There's something. Okay. Um. Or something happens and you just feel like it's not safe. Like, you need to learn to self-comfort. This is a strong self-comfort energy. Okay? Tell me about this high priestess. You use your gut here too. All right? With the seven of wands. So you're, you're in... You're in defense mode. You're ready to battle. You're ready to fight. You, you, you don't want to open up to nobody. You don't want to release. You don't want to let go. All right. You you got the five of cups. You reverse. You're coming out of it, though. Okay. Right now, this is this is what I'm saying. Like, you're, you're lonely. You're discontent. You know, you need to build your confidence back up. You, you need to let go and release whatever this is. I don't know what this is, but I can't tell you enough to release. About this magician, Queen of Wands reverse. There was some tricky shit with the Knight of Swords. Somebody got cut out of somebody's life. Okay, this is this. We're holding on to pain. <sighs> the best advice I can give you right now with this energy is nurture yourself. Take care of you, so you can have this new stat. Okay, there, there's somebody in your life that you love, this, or love you. Okay, and you know that this person can be the one. So here, here's the deal. You hold on to past pain. Whether it has to do with this person or not, got to let it go. Because you can't get back with this person if that's the case with that type of energy. You just can't. Whatever this is, let it go. Yeah, either being a wicked bee to somebody or somebody's being a wicked bee to you. Cut it out of your life. It's not this person that you got some love for. 
I think this is a different outside influence. I think this is just you've been horribly hurt by something. And you've been holding on to this for a great deal of time. Let it go. They're giving you this energy to let it go. This is, you know, the four chalices. This is being so afraid to step out of your routine. Okay. Cut it out of your life. Cut it out of your life. Okay. Step into something new. But here comes a tower. To me, I want to say this is a good thing. Tell me about the tower. It's going to be hard, but to me, it's a good thing because you need to cut yourself from this energy. I don't know what this is, but you need to let it go. You got the Eight of Swords, you're feeling trapped with the Nine of Pence, but here's the thing. This is an obsession thing, too. This is straight up lust. You're cutting somebody's hair. I don't know if there's magic being done here, okay? You gotta let this go. You're fearing letting go. You don't, you don't, you're scared. Why? Because you don't know how to self comfort need a chalice says walk towards you happy you know there's somebody here that makes you really happy i think there's i think there's two people in the picture here tell me about this tower be a pen I think there's definitely a third person here with the death reverse, you not accepting something, okay? With the, the, the Knight of Pence and the freaking Knight of Wands came flying out with the Five of Pence. This isn't, this isn't like the normal Five of Pence, like you're lonely, a block now. This is, this is like, why well, you're lonely, this is somebody else or a vice versa, okay? For some, there's definitely another person, um... And, but to me, to be honest with you, this to me, this is telling me this has happened to you in the past. So you're afraid to go towards a new happy because you're holding on to something that you don't need to hold on to. Let it go. And if this is current, let it go. Don't you dare step back into this routine. Seven of Pence, you're tired. You're just get tired of fighting this battle. Look at all. You want to be with this person because of the lot of love. But you're tired. Tell me about the seven of pence. Six of wands. You know, like, this could be a victory, but a, 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 a little victory. You're thinking. You're hoping. Okay? But here's the hierophant. Reverse. Somebody's non-committal. And there's two people here. And at the bottom of this deck, I didn't even know it. There's another three of wands with the five of pens feeling lonely. But somebody coming in, the knight of cups is going to come charm you. Here's the deal. Somebody's very codependent. To me, I'm going to read it as my Leo's being very codependent on something, okay? I know you want this reconciliation. You want it for yourself, but here's the deal. If, how many times do I got to say that? If this has happened a while ago and it's, the energy is back around because you had a discussion, let it go. Oh, yeah. If you want to move on with this person, go ahead, as long as it's been growth. Okay? For others, if this just happened, let it go. Release it. Okay? Um, definitely some third party energy here, okay? But it's holding you back. Take care of you. Self-esteem, friendship. I think there's somebody else and it's a tough read, guys. What are my gummy bears going through? Trust. Except your inner voice will always lead you, okay, correctly. There's doubt. But when this 
talks about trust, major trust issues. I think this is, honestly, I feel like this is the path. And you're having a really hard time moving forward. I don't blame you. But the only way for your soul to grow, the only way for you to start living life again is, is nurturing yourself and stepping into new energy. Okay, I understand it's not going to be easy. You want to be with somebody. You want it. Okay. Um, and I think, you know, this, this could be the one, but I really hope there's been a lot of growth. This is not one of those, if this is one of those scenarios that this just went down in the last couple months, it's not time. If this has been a couple years, six months longer, there's a chance, okay? And now you're just going to fear it because of everything that went down. But if you truly want to move on with this person, you have to release the past and start new. you got to be able to have an open line of communication. you got to get to the bottom of things. This is not going to be easy, but it can be done. That's the place. I got me by it. Priestess of air. Okay. So, logical thinking and reason, and using your mind to consider the next right action, are the qualities encouraged right now by the high priestess of air. Now is the time to think before you act. <coughs> you are blessed with a wondrous mind and imagination. Your ability to communicate is enhanced when you meet the high priestess of air. This is the moment to have a reasonable conversation and make calculated decisions. So, now is the time for this to come in, okay? They're saying be practical, okay? Don't, don't let your heart, don't let sorrow, don't let certain stuff overpower the, practical, the practicality here, okay? Um... Oh, yeah, the ability to communicate. That's what I'm saying. I saw that card, right? Like, it was like, have that, like, that conversation card. Where is it? Oh, it wasn't you guys. I mean, you have conversation clearly right here, but I was thinking of a different card. And I was just thinking of uh, what sign was I thought you might be dealing with. What did I just do? Maybe Leo's. If I almost said Leo, if I didn't, you might be dealing with a Leo. I don't know for sure, though, okay? But this is the time to think practically, okay? You, you definitely have the ability to, to go and talk about this, and that's what I'm saying. Like, somebody needs to open up, talk, trust, okay? You're getting trust. They're giving you, they're giving you this new energy of communication so you don't let emotions take over this time around, okay? It's here, the fear, the the issues, the trust, the codependencies. That's what I'm saying. You don't feel safe. You you know this could be the one, but you don't feel safe. That's what I'm saying. Right now, they're giving you the capability of having having that love, but making a very practical decision. Okay. Um, making sure you nurture yourself too. Making sure you're not getting caught up in lust and fear and and jealousy. And, you know what I'm saying? Like. It's time to have a straightforward, honest conversation and really talk about what it is that needs to be talked about because this is some harsh energy. And like I said, if this just went down, then I'm sorry. It's time to let it go completely. Like, trust in the universe. Like, it's time to let it go. Free yourself. You know what I mean? But if it's been, you know, if that's not the case, then it's, it's just saying, you know, it's time to communicate and, and talk about it. And the best advice I can give you is is no lie. Take take care of yourself. Okay. Don't forget to nurture you too. I'm gonna pull you guys an angel card because you guys you guys deserve an angel card. Hang in there. Heavy energy, but you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Just breathe. 
Best advice to my gummy bears. Nurture. And I've been saying this. Take care of yourself. As you nurture yourself, a child, something, you know, as you nurture anything, both activities are on point. Okay? So, it's, it's both. So, it's mutual nurture. Okay? Clear intentions. Be clear about what it is you desire. Okay? Um, and have faith. Have faith. Whoa. Take your power back. Use your God-given power. Okay? Leadership. It's, it's time for you to assume leadership power. Okay? That's because you're letting somebody else control your emotions. You're letting the you're letting the past control the present moment. Let it go. Take your power back. Take go after your own energy. The universe is giving you brand new energy to work with right now. Take advantage of that. It's a gift. Okay. What is that? Moon cycles. Notice how the moon cycles and certain energies affect you. Okay. So remember who you are. All right, you're a powerful, loving, creative child of God. You are loved, okay? Because you, you feel like it's not safe to love, but you're loved, you're protected. You, you probably have battled some things, okay? But they got you. It might not feel like that, but they're saying, I know they got you because the cards they're giving you, they're letting you know you're loved and protected. All right, you just happen to be dealing with some heavy energy. You're going to be okay. Take care of you. Learn to nurture you. Try to learn to trust again. It starts with hope. Hope leads to faith. Faith usually, you know, leads to, to trust. Okay. We can do it. All right. We can do it. I believe in you. All right. Self-love. Okay. And then... Approach this situation. Trust it. Communicate. Be honest. I love you guys.